Day two of the European Youth Olympic Festival in sunny Utrecht. The 1,000th medal of the Summer European Youth Olympics will be awarded today. There's also all nine sports on the program. The first medals in the sport of the tournament director, Peter van den Hogenbaan, swimming, the 200 meter freestyle and the four by 100 meter relay. The women's and men's time trial in cycling. In athletics, it's the blue ribbon 100 meter dash. The second round jewels of the group phase for basketball, handball and volleyball. In gymnastics, it's the team's competition. And in tennis, the two Hungarian top seeds in action, Matej Vulkus and Rebecca Galfi. It's also the first medals in judo in the 48 to 55 kilo classes. A magnificent sunny day greeted the cyclists in Lint in Utrecht for this time trial. A 9.7 kilometer circuit the cyclists have to engage. 30 seconds. One of the first away was the Great Britain rider, Grace Garner. British cycling on a high, particularly after their fabulous effort at the 2012 Olympics in London. So great expectation from Garner as she went on her way. Number one seed, Lisa Morzenti, getting off to a flying start there. Number 11 seed, Simona Egg of Denmark. Also putting in a very powerful effort. Looking good midway through her effort. Plenty of cheers for the Netherlands contestant, Aska Soot. 15 years of age from Hedenbein in the north of the country. Another Dutch competitor, Micah Bogart. Looking good in the final stages of her run. And over the line in 14 minutes 11. Puts her inside the top 20. But certainly the heat taking its toll on these cyclists. The Italian, Lisa Morzenti, looking good all the way. Powering home over the final stages. Even overtaking an earlier competitor. Finish line in sight, looking good. The time's right up there. 13 minutes, 24, 55, that's gold. And that's certainly put a smile on all the Italian faces. Best home of the Dutch contingent was Afka Soot. 13 minutes, 45.7. But it's gold to Italy, silver to Denmark, bronze to Russia. In the men's section, a very familiar name away early in this section. The son of legendary French sprinter, Frederick Moncassin. His son, Maxim, putting in a time of 12 minutes, 52.11. That saw him finish outside the top 20. But certainly good to see the Moncassin name flowing on in cycling. Several competitors struggling in the heat here in Utrecht. Leo Appelt from Germany, mouth wide open, giving it all he's got. The Germans very happy with that effort, thinking they've got gold. But look at the toll it's taking on these competitors. Several more riders to go though, like the Italian, Mattia Cristofoletti. A big effort from him, but just outside the top 20. Mayor Wolfson of Utrecht enjoying the competition. Here comes the Norwegian across the line, Erlen Blijkstra, and that was the winning time. The disappointment obvious on the face of Leo Appelt there. As the gold goes to Norway, silver Germany, and bronze to Poland. I hope to be one of the best 15. Uh, I didn't expect to be on the podium at all. Why not? Uh, I thought uh, the others were uh, much stronger than me, and I have, uh, haven't competed with uh, the other nations, so I didn't know how, I, how good they were. So you're surprised now? Yeah, very surprised. <laughs> The first day of the gymnastics tournament for the Euro Youth Games in Utrecht was for the men's all-round and apparatus finals. The first medals were shared in the team's competition. The Italians performing well, picking up the bronze medal. He's their best performer, Carlo Macini. Absolutely superb on the horse with a score of 13.65. Smooth, fluid movement and a superb dismount. Tremendous performance by Macini. The team scored 
They were just behind the Russians who accumulated 167.3 points. They were very powerful on the rings. Standout performance here. The Russians finished two points behind the gold medal winning Great Britain side. Lovely dismount there. Standout performer for Britain was Bryn Bevan of Benfleet. He was absolutely superb in the floor, jump and parallel bars. He will certainly be one of the favourites in the individual events, although the dismount here wasn't so polished. But a tremendous performance by Bevan and England winning the gold. So it was gold Britain, silver Russia and bronze Italy. They finished well ahead of the other nations in this particular competition. Number one men's seed was in action today, Matej Valkush of Hungary. He's in the blue, getting off to a great start and taking the first set, 6-love. He powered on to win the second, 6-1. The Englishman, Thomas Wright, absolutely no answer to the Hungarians' game. Valkush played another match later on, beating Pavel Kotos and is through to the quarters. Now it was on to Bart Stevens from the Netherlands, up against the Norwegian, Kasper Rude. That drop shot backfiring on the Netherlands player. Rude taking the point there as tournament director Peter van den Hogenbarn looks on. Rude, beautiful serving in this match and putting his shots away beautifully. 6-4, 6-1 the final score. In the women's, it's top seed Dalma Rebecca Galfi in action against the Russian Tatiana Nikolaeva. She's been in fine form, put away her opponent earlier on. Playing on court 12, there's no umpire. It's left to the players to argue the point. In this case, the Russian, is it gamesmanship or is it a genuine argument? Eventually she conceded and the game continued. Bit of a crowd on hand to watch this one. Certainly a great player as these tight shots reveal. Lovely stroke play, lovely footwork. Certainly not afraid to charge the net. Proficient in all shots and wonderful to watch as she moves in for the kill against the Russian Nikolaeva. A straight sets victory, 6-3, 6-1 to Galfi. Bulgaria's Elizabeth Danilova pulled off one of the major upsets of the women's section this afternoon, beating Daniela Vukovic, the fifth seed from Switzerland. The Bulgarian winning the first set 6-3, going down in the second 4-6, but eventually winning it easily in the third 6-1. Pool A in the men's volleyball and Russia followed up their win in four sets over the Netherlands yesterday with a masterful straight sets victory over Finland in this match. Never in doubt, the Russians with a clear height advantage and some power hitting. Looking good right throughout this match. That point coming through some very astute blocking. First set going Russia's way, 25 to nine. Nice little drop serve there, almost paid off for him. The Finns doing their best to fight back. Fantastic recovery from Russia, but good blocking from the Finns. In the end, paying dividends for them. Still with their backs to the wall though, going down in the second set, 25-14. Really needing a big effort here, but the Russians clearly with an advantage, smashed home there by Palatayev, and the final set going Russia's way, 25-20. In Pool B, it's the Netherlands up against Turkey. Fantastic block from the Turks on that occasion. Unfortunately, drifting out for them. The Netherlands losing their first game against Russia. Really wanting a win here, but things not going their way. They lost the first set 25-15. In the second set, it was even tougher for them. They went down 25-14. So the Turks in total control now, looking to wrap this up three love. And that one sailing out. It's a straight sets victory for Turkey. So it's Turkey and Russia through to the semi-finals. In the girls' competition, Pool A, an absolute nail-biter in this match between Poland and Serbia. Poland going two sets down, looking gone for all money with some fantastic early play from the Serbians. The Serbians taking it two sets to nil lead. But then Poland 
fought their way back into this match. 30-28 in the third set, and then 25-23, 15-10. Tremendous comeback from Poland, keeping their semi-final hopes alive. Now in the Group A match between the Netherlands and Greece. Greece were off to a good start, 25-14. However, the Netherlands asserting their authority in the second set, 25 to nine, did it very easily. And then in the end, two close finishes. One, one is the cry from the local crowd. One more point, we're on match point. 26-24 in the third set, and in the fourth, it's 26-24 again. What a lovely touch there. Jubilation for the Dutch. They're through to the semi-finals. So for the first day of the judo finals, it's the local representative and popular flag bearer Amber Hershes in the 44 kilo class up against the girl from Turkey, Rabia Senyala. Hershes full of aggression in this contest. Really leading the way. The girl from Turkey. Trying to make something of this, but at times looking very lost. Hershes maneuvering, jockeying. And there, a big disappointment for Senyala. She has been deducted a point for passive action, and that's Costa. Goal to the Netherlands. In the 50 kilogram men's, it's Elnor Abasov of Azerbaijan against the Belgian representative, Jora Vestraten. Clearly the competitor from Azerbaijan, the stronger of the two competitors, really asserting his authority. Not much that Vestraten can do about it. Just hanging in there, trying not to get pinned but the inevitable always looking the obvious. And in the end, it's Abasov achieving the goal and winning the contest. Gold going to Azerbaijan, silver to Belgium. The battle for the bronze in the 50 kilo class involved the Netherlands competitor in the blue, Matthijs van Harten against Andre Pensia of Belarus. Van Harten on top early. Pensia clearly struggling. And the pin there achieved. And the bronze medal going to the Netherlands. Fantastic for Van Harten. In the 55 kilogram class now, it's Peter Miles of Great Britain up against Arko Zashvili from Georgia. The Georgian, fantastic technique all over the man from Great Britain. Looking very near to pinning his opponent, the man in blue. Georgia, always strong competitors, picking up gold at almost every games in this event. And now seemingly only moments away from yet another. Look of despair on Miles's face tells it all. And finally the result goes to Georgia, Arko Zashvili with the gold. For the bronze, it was a battle between Filip Jovanovic of Serbia and local boy Tornike Skadoa. And what about that? Bit of luck involved, but he'll take it. An amazing effort considering it's a brown belt up against a black belt. But it's bronze going the Netherlands way. Nine finalists facing the starters gun for the beginning of the women's 3,000 metre long distance race. All the local hopes pinned on Ashley Mellitz, who started from the outside lane and shot to the lead very early, mixing it with some of the best as they start sorting themselves out in the first 100 metres. Crowd very pensive, hoping for the girl in orange to get in front by the final stages. But soon after, it was the Italian girl, Francesca Tomasi, mixing it with the Romanian, Ifteni. Also the Irish lady, O'Flaherty, was in there. Entering the second half of the event, it was the Romanian who really stepped up a gear and started to pull away. Certainly as the finish line approached, she was looking very superior. Maria Magdalena Ifteni 
in the final stages, winning comfortably with a time of 9.41.26. Gold to Romania, silver to O'Flaherty for Ireland, bronze to Italy to Marcy. The blue ribbon 100 metre sprint. The favourite in lane three, the Frenchman, Kenny Blaycourt, off to a decent start. Almost in a straight line as they reach the halfway point. The Dutchman's in there too, Joris van Hul. But look at the Spanish man down the outside. Flash home, almost beating the man with the powerful finish. But it was Blaycourt first from France. Spain second via Del Bale Alba. And third, Daniel Zabo of Hungary. Gold France, silver Spain, bronze Hungary. The family very happy about that result. Now, the 100 metre girls final. Watch this champion from Cyprus. Paraskevi Andreil, sensational in the heats. All the smart money on her. No one would dare bet against her. But look at the Dutch girl flying down the middle there, trying to keep up with her. It was a bad start that crueled her. But what a finish from Andreu. One of the performances of track and field. Gold to Cyprus, silver to the Netherlands, and bronze to Czech Republic. What a finish. And all of Utrecht and the Netherlands behind the local competitor as she picked up her silver medal. Tassa Gija, fantastic effort from her. And there's the winner, one of the standout performances of these games. Remember that name, Paraskevi Andreu of Cyprus. First day of swimming at the 2013 European Youth Olympic Festival. Certainly putting a smile on tournament director Peter Funden Hogan Band's face as the first event was the one that he won gold in and that was the 200 metre freestyle. The German here, Ulrich, powerful finish, taking the gold for Germany. Second, Russia for silver and third was Mark Vivas Egia for bronze for Spain. In the 200 metre women's butterfly. A very even start for the first 100 metres. Figuring very prominently, Selezak of Hungary, Luperi of Italy and Stevens of Great Britain. But it was the Spaniard powering home over the final metres to score gold for Spain. That was Heredia Balbuana. A very special moment in the women's 400 metre individual medley. The 1,000th gold medal of the biannual Summer European Youth Olympic Festival was up for grabs. And it was looking very close, but in the end, it was Abby Wood who stormed away to take this event. Gold for Great Britain and the 1,000th medal going to Abby Wood. Over to the men's 400 metre individual medley, 100 metres of butterfly, followed by backstroke, breaststroke and freestyle. Red hot favourite Igor Bally Burden shooting out to an early lead. Duncan Scott of Great Britain and Scubo of Spain giving chase, but it was Bally Burden far too powerful, gold to Russia. Coming in second for silver was Duncan Scott of Great Britain and Spain's Scubo Casanovas picking up the bronze. The men's 4x100 metre freestyle relay. A very close race, this one, a nail-biting finish. It was expected to be fought out between England, Germany and Russia, and that's pretty much the way it went. Ulrich and Muller getting out to a great start for the Germans, giving their fans something to smile about. In the end, though, the Russians powering home with Great Britain. A three-way battle, and it's Russia touching in first. Germany silver, Great Britain bronze. More gold up for grabs, this time in the women's 4x100m freestyle relay. And in this event, it's Russia, Germany and England, the three dominant forces. And there they are, going head-to-head -head at every exchange. First of all, it was Germany with Gottwald and Kuhlmann. But the Russians powering home over the final stages, getting home for the gold, yet another medal in the pool for them. Germany silver, Great Britain bronze. In the men's competition, Norway and Germany had the crowd on the edge of their seats in this contest, which went right down to the wire. Unfortunately, Norway missing on that occasion. Fast break, and what a save from the Norwegian keeper, Hansen, punching the air with pride. Tremendous work there. 
at the halfway break. Only one point separating these two teams. It was Norway 14, Germany 13. Another fantastic save. This time it was from Savaras. Up the other end, some fantastic counter-attacking. Huane scoring there and giving the victory to Norway 28-25. In the ladies pool B competition, Russia in action against Hungary. In the early stages, all Russia shooting out to a 17-12 lead by the half-time break. Russians dominating possession. And a fantastic save, keeping him in the game there, Gesko, for the Hungarians. But in the end, Russia far too strong. A fantastic late goal there from Frolova. Russia taking this one, 31-21, and going to the top of the table. In men's basketball, the Netherlands team was up against Germany. Netherlands in desperate need of victory after their loss last night, but off to a very bad start. Germans looking good right from the outset. Point guard Boris Egerly having a good game for the mighty Oranje. So was Jacob Stolk. In all, though, they were fairly ineffectual. Some fairly sloppy play. But the parameter play from Stolk, very impressive. Germany, though, the superior side with some tremendous rebounding and fine shooting. In the end, though, they pulled away to win easily. Beautiful bucket there from Marcel Kessen. Germany 79, Netherlands 59. In the women's competition, Hungary took on France. Hungary a very impressive side. And that was a lovely basket from Agnes Studer of Hungary. Hungary maintaining the pressure. Mainly through shooting guard Burundi. Also Aho with some fine shooting. In the end, Hungary too good. 82-62, the jubilation obvious. Also on a high were the Netherlands basketball team, winning their first match quite comfortably, but a big ask here against the Russians. A big height and strength advantage as Westerlink, the guard, manoeuvres beautifully into the paint and adds two points to the scoreboard. But as we saw at the end of the second quarter, it was 30-12 to the Russians. The Netherlands really needing to fight back here. Unable to dispossess the Russians. Total control, and as the clock winds down, it's a scramble for the ball. The Netherlands, no match for Russia, 59-25, the final score to the Russians. Day two, with all nine sports in action, we saw some marvellous efforts and achievements on the field, in the pool, and also in the arenas. More action tomorrow.